Hi guys, this is Anthony and today I'll be doing a very short video on my Tory Angus collection. Now, this is probably really pathetic because I only own 8 albums and it's not very much for a collection video, but I think because David Unboxes sort of inspired me, because he's got such a good chain, he's inspired me to um, make more collection videos. He's done like Kate Bush and Lana Del Rey, uh, and of course Lady Gaga, because he's got his own channel, Lady Gaga and Apple channel. And sort of other channels as well, so I thought I'd, I, I want to do a, like, a collection video of my Toy Amos albums. I just can't wait anymore, I just want to, you know, do a video. And I want to make this video uh, last longer than it should seem, because I, again, I only got eight items. So yeah, I'll give a brief comment on each one, and I, I'll just, um, even though a few of these I haven't listened to yet, but I'll also show you the inside of the booklet and stuff. Um, the first one, the first album, Little Earthquakes, um, I've listened to this a few times now since I bought it and it's absolutely brilliant. I find this now one of the best Tori Amos albums. It's just, I just love the piano sound in it, I love all the songs like Crucify, Silent All These Years and China. It's just such a, it's like a diary this album is and um, this is definitely one of the best Tori Amos albums I've, I know. And a lot of the fans seem to like this one as well. The uh, hails as a classic album, and it's 20 years old. This album is it. Put in uh, the first of October, she's releasing Gold Dust, and it's sort of like in the legacy of this album. And yeah, it's, it's brilliant. I'll show the artwork inside. It's got a nice, uh, simple grey disc, but it's sort of grey with a tint of blue, and it's got the iconic um, box which is off the video Silent All These Years, which is a great video, I recommend checking it out. As all your lyrics here, and they're very set out very nicely, in the box shape again. It's a video still, from the Silent All These Years video. So yeah, it's a, a very quirky album, I like the way it's set out, and it's definitely a masterpiece as well. I'll be doing a review on this um, pretty soon, once I've done um, a review from the Quaggo Hotel. Because I've only listened to it a few times, I would still like to get to know more of the songs before I'm ready to review the album. Because I would like to do a nice, decent review of this album. So yeah, it's a nice, simple booklet, but it just has its charms in it. So yeah, it's, it's definitely one of the more easier Toy Amos albums to find. Despite reaching number 14 on the album charts in 1992, um, it's a good. It was a good seller afterwards when Tory became a, a phenomenon, I should say. Tory Amos Under the Pink. This was the first Tory Amos album I bought back in February this year, and I know this sounds crazy, but out of the four uh, Tory Amos albums, the first four that I've listened to, this is actually the worst one. Um, I don't know why, I just think it's missing something. It's still a really great album on this, and it has the classic songs Cornflake Girl, Pass the Mission. And I did my review on this um, not too long ago, and my views have changed on this album. I just find that the other Toy Amos albums have more to deliver than this one. Um, I don't know why. Yeah, so I've done the review on this album, and uh, go and check it out if you want to know more info about this album. It goes like the same league as uh, Little Earthquakes, maybe a little more different sounding, but it's still got a famous piano sound in it. Sorry if I've offended any Tori Amos fans if they think this is definitely the best Tori Amos album of theirs. But it's just my opinion, it's not that, you know, it's a matter of fact that it's the worst album, it's just for my ears that this one's my least favourite. Like I said, it's still a good album, nonetheless. Boys for Pe um, Pele, this is my favourite um, album. I actually sent a copy of this to David's Unboxes, which he done a video for unboxing um, not too long ago, and it, it really made me smile, and um, I'm glad he's enjoying it. It's, yeah, d definitely my favourite Tori Amos album so far. I love all the different sounds, and it's a very angry album, and it's got a good blend of different uh, sort of styles. I'll show the booklet. Even though the booklet has some very weird pictures. I also did a, a review of this album uh, joint with Under the Pink on my channel. So if you want to know more information about this and the tracks, uh, go and check it out. 
as all your lyrics near set out again in a very odd way, like uh, Little Earthquakes was. A very nice picture of uh, a pig, well, toy breastfeeding a pig. Yeah, it has some very strange pictures in, but you know, that's Toy Amos for you. Uh, very inspirational as well. I love that picture of her sitting in the carriage. That's the Tallulah um, single cover. I wouldn't mind getting the single for that single just because I like the artwork. Yeah, it's quite a thick, thick booklet. This is it has a lot of um, well because it has got like eighteen tracks on it, so it has to be thick. <laughs> Next is a review of. Um, well, no, from the Cry Girl Hotel, which I've listened to a lot lately, and it's absolutely brilliant. I'll be doing a review of this very soon. I've nearly sort of finished listening to this, um, to the, where it gets to the point where I've now all the songs off by heart, and um, it's got a very different rock sound in it. I don't want to say too much because I would like to say my opinion for the review, but I'll just show you the booklet. It's a very, very um, amazing booklet. It's set out really nice. It's like, a, it's like as if Tori's been uh, on a photocopier. Yeah, it has like a, a map of um, well each song where it takes you. So if you listen to a song, it's like at a different place. So it's quite uh, interesting. That's a nice picture of Tori there. That's all your lyrics. Again, they're set out very uh, differently, if uh, you can notice, which is just brilliant. Two really brilliant pictures of Tori there, and then it opens up to the uh, photos of Tori with all these girls. Well, there's Tori obviously, and then there's another girl behind. If you can see, it's a bit dark, but yeah, the the smell is really nice as well. It's the booklet because it's got a new smell coming off it, um, wait, as if it's just been printed out of the factory. <laughs> So yeah, I've picked this up from HMV and it's in really good condition. It was £6, so £6 you can't go on for that much. Oh God, I can't put the booklet back. There we go. Right. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing a review of this. I can't wait to do a review, so I'm looking forward to that. Then this one I got the other day, I, I did in my that video, Strange Little Girls, I haven't listened to this yet, I want to finish um, Little Earthquakes and then start this one. Um, yeah, brilliant. I like all the different styles in this because she portrays different girls in it. So yeah, it's got a lot of um, different characters. When it gets, when I start to listen to this album, I'm gonna just study each girl and just look at her for ages and listen to the song, just so you know I sort of really get to know each girl well. These two are twins, um, apparently. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I'll probably do a bit with you on this um, in the up upcoming months. I'll try and do it as soon as possible. Um, I know that I've had a request from Lana Del Rey Lover to do a review of this. So, yeah, I will be doing a review of this um, when I um, know the album. Uh, the Beekeeper, which I haven't listened to yet. Um, I know this is a, a long album. Yeah, I picked this up for like a pound quite a while back, which was a brilliant. I like the disc as well. It's got like a nice um, material and, and it, which makes the font shine, all the patterns. A nice picture toy there, and the booklet's a lot more simple than this one. Um, it's got all your lyrics near set out again, very weird, uh, weirdly in the shapes. Had some nice pictures in there as well. So, 
So yeah, I'll, I'm not sure if I, I'll try and do a review on every single Tori Amos album. It will take a while because each album's really long and still I haven't got all the albums. Um, so it'll probably be like, uh, maybe this time next year I'll probably have reviewed them all by then, hopefully. American Doll Posse, which, you know, again, I haven't listened to. But again, like Strange Little Girl, she's portraying five different characters in this, which sounds really interesting. Um, so, yeah, I'll be listening to each one and study each character. There's some really great pictures in here as well. All the characters she does. Sorry I'm not talking very much, but it's more of like um, study the photos kind of video. So yeah, this is a good picture, it's just got the out and when you turn the page, there she is. <laughs> so yeah. I just love Tori, I think she's got some great album artwork and um, yeah, I think along with like Kate Bush and artists like that and Bjork who also release great albums with great, great artwork. Um, it's just nice to own an album and just love, love the artwork. And the last one, Night of the Hunters, which um, again is um, very good artwork. It's got loads of good pictures in this. And she's got her daughter to be in the booklet, which is very nice as well. Um, I can see her daughter as a, a rising star. <laughs> so yeah, she just looks slightly different on this picture, but still Toy Amos. That's all your lyrics in there. They set out more normal in this one, <laughs> unlike the others. I can see that Toy House really just like to dress up and portray different co uh, characters, which is really interesting for, well, a lot of mu musicians. There's a daughter there. I know that this album's uh, took the classical approach, which will be very interesting to hear. Um, it has more of a bigger sound of of uh, found out so far. The battery's gonna go soon, so I better hurry up. So, so yeah, as all your lyrics in here. Um, I think you can find any of these albums. Well. Well, a few of these albums in any big HMV. If you've got any big HMVs, you're very likely to find Under the Pink, Little Earthquakes and Boys for Pele and From the Quaggo Hotel and possibly this one before it sort of uh, disappears when it gets a bit older. But yeah, that's my Toy Amos collection so far. Eight albums and I'm building on the collection. And um, I'll be doing a review on um, uh, Little Earthquakes and From the Quaggo Hotel at some point. And thank you for watching.